So hello everyone. Uh, today I'm very glad to to present you some some uh, potential uh, applications of variables, which is for uh, dietary management. So the title of my presentation is uh, food non-food image classification and food categorization using pre-trained Google Net model. So before going deeper into details, uh, I would give you a. Uh, uh, first, the outline of the presentation today. So, firstly, I will uh, start with the introduction, including the background of the problem, uh, the, the the motivation of our work, and the problems that we want to solve. And then I will int uh, uh, explain in detail the data image data set that we collected, and uh, followed by the experiment that we conducted, and the corresponding result analysis. And finally, I will give you a, a live demonstration based on a, a smartphone uh, application. OK, so uh, nowadays, uh, we already talked a lot that people uh, care a lot about their health. And, um, uh, and we use various uh, tools, like uh, wearables, like a smartwatch, like whatever tools to monitor our uh, body, monitor our, for example, the sleeping status, and we want to measure the uh, the, the, the the calorie uh, consumption uh, after some uh, half an hour of jogging, something like this. So, so if you notice that most of these are that are the outcomes of our body that we want to measure. So it's also very important that we can measure the intake that we have every day, which is, which is not that easy. So uh, because the, the, the intake estimation is also very important because we have to balance the, the input and output, namely the, the intake and the consumption to make our body healthy. And therefore, uh, researchers have been working a lot on uh, on the uh, dietary assessment using multimeter technologies, for example, image analysis. Why we use images? Because uh, uh, we take images every day, and uh, especially we like uh, food images because the food is very appealing and is very attractive. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Professor uh, Azava and uh, Delp uh, have been working on this topic for for, for many years, and. Um, to, to solve this problem, uh, we have two uh, initial steps which are very important. The first thing is that we, we want to detect the food items, the food images from the bunch of daily images that we, we take from our uh, mobile phone or from even some uh, wearable cameras like, uh, like the narrative clip or like some smartwatch with, with a camera. And then the next step is that we want to uh, automatically and accurately ad identify the food item in, in a particular food image. However, this is not a very uh, easy task, considering the fact that uh, there are so many types of food items uh, in different shape, in different color. Even if it's the same food, it can be cooked in many di different ways. And also, in most of the cases, in our plate, we have uh, mixed uh, food items. So this is not a very easy work. So uh, th that's why we are thinking that maybe we can uh, have a such a system that can uh, give us um, general categorization of food that we eat every day. Let's say if we can have a system, if I have a system or application can tell me, OK, Lin, you, you had uh, half a kilo bread, half a kilo rice, and uh, three kilos meat today. So stop eating, stop eating anymore. Then for me, it will be already good. And based on this information, we can have, uh, the system can generate a approximate estimation of the, of the dietary intake I have. So this is the motivation of the, our work. And, and that's why in, in this work, we want to experiment with two uh, problems. One is the food, non-food image classification. And another one is the food categorization based on our predefined uh, 11 uh, <coughs> classes. And uh, to solve this problem, we used uh, we applied the recent very popular uh, deep learning uh, framework with uh, convolutional neural networks uh, using a pre-trained Google Net model. OK, so to do the experiment, we, we need a data set. So we collected two 
image data set. The first one is called uh, uh, Food 5K, which is for the task of food, non-food uh, classification. And in this data set, we, uh, this, in this data set, there are uh, 2,500 food images and another 2,500 non-food images. And uh, we, we, we selected the, the images from uh, our wearable camera, from our, our mobile phone, and also from uh, some existing food image data set. And when we collected the images, we try to, we try to uh, keep the high variety in each class, in food and non-food. For example, in the food images, we try to include very different types of food, um, from bread to meat to dessert. And um, some of the food items are highly mixed. And also the same for the non-food. So in the non-food images, we include um, the non-food objects like animal, like flower, or like people, landscape, and even even some objects that visually look like food, but which are not food. Okay, and then we have we have collected another data set called the Food Eleven, which. Uh, contains 11 major food categories. And we also we, we got the food images from social media like Instagram, like Flickr, and also the existing food image data sets. And here are the 11 categories. I don't know if you can see it clearly. So it's a, a bread, a dairy products, a dessert, egg, fried food, meat, noodles, and pasta. Uh, rice, seafood, soup, and then the last one is vegetables and uh, fruits. And when we collected images for this data set, we also try to include very different types of food in, in each uh, category. For example, um, in, the, in the bread, we, we have not only the bread, but also a burger, for example, we have a pancake, we even have a pizza. And also in the, for example, in egg, we have the we have boiled egg, we have a fried egg, we have a omelet, but in fact they visually they look different. So this could potentially increase the uh, the, the the difficulty of the uh, recognition problem. So here you have the the detailed description of of the of the uh, eleven uh, food categories. So. For example, in uh, in the bread we have bread, uh, burger, pizza, pancake. Uh, in the uh, dairy product we have milk, yogurt, cheese, butter. And uh, yeah, and uh, here you have the number of the images in in this image data set. So basically, we uh, divided the data set in uh, three sets: training sets, uh, validation sets, and uh, evaluation evaluation sets. Okay, and then based on this two data sets, we um, ex uh, conducted two, two sets of experiment. So the first one is the food, non-food uh, classification. And uh, we uh, fine-tuned uh, existing Google Net model, which was pre-trained based on, I don't know, maybe millions of images on thousands of classes. And uh, we, we, we fine-tuned the last, last six layers of the parameters on the training set of Food 5K uh, data set. And we evaluated our uh, classifier on the uh, evaluation data set, which contains uh, 500 food images, 500 non food images. So we got the maximum accuracy, overall accuracy of 99.2%, which is kind of good. And uh, here you have the, the images, all the images that were uh, wrongly detected. So on the left, you can see the food images that were detected as, as, as non-food. In fact, okay, in our data set, in our food data set, we even included the images uh, with food, but uh, the food is not the main portion of the, of the image. So, and also in some other images, for example, the, this one, which is very dark, and which one, uh, this one, visually it looks like food, but it can be some toy even. And also on the, on the right, you can see the images which were misclassified as food. And 
yeah, so some of the images, if you consider this image, you, it can be candy. Or this one, which is mushroom, visually it can be some food, really. So uh, now we can see using this uh, Google Net model and using the deep learning, we can get a good result on the classification. And then we tried the, the same structure, the same model on the recognition using the uh, for the 11 uh, data set. Uh, the same as the previous experiment, we fine tuned the last uh, six layers of the model and uh, uh, trained on the training set of the image data set of the, uh, for the 11 data set. And we got the maximum accuracy of 83.5 person, uh, person. And here I have the computer matrix of the, of the, of the result. I hope this is uh, clear for you, but uh, uh, in general, the, okay, maybe you don't see the number clearly. But from this result, you can see some of the classes, for some of the classes, the, the, the recognition accuracy is, is quite high. For example, uh, rice, rice, which is 90, yeah, more than 96 or 95, and the noodles and the soup. And, uh, but for some other classes like the bread and like the uh, egg, the, the, the recognition accuracy is not that good. But if you think about this problem, it's, 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 it's reasonable because if you think about the, the, the noodle, the rice, well, these images have some kind of uh, special pattern. Uh, for example, the noodle has the special shape, the rice has its special shape, and also for the soup, Usually in the soup image, we have a round plate or ball. But for the images like bread, which is highly mixed with not only bread, but burger, but pizza, etc. for the egg, these images are not very easy to be recognized. And also we have the F measure and the kappa uh, coefficients of the uh, result, which is also very high. Okay, and then here I uh, listed all the, the, the top 10 uh, misclassified pairs. And uh, you can see that uh, um, many of the, okay, in, in many of the cases that were wrongly detected, many of the food are detected as a, a dessert. In fact, uh, visually some of the images maybe we cannot even <laughs> recognize, right? And also for some images like a fruit and the dessert, Sometimes it's also hard to see, okay, which one is fruit and which one. I mean, it can be both. Okay, and then we find the, we try to find the reasons behind this. So, and, and we, we found that, okay, most of the Im images that were wrongly detected is mainly because either the food images in different classes, they have similar visual uh, features or appearance or color or shape. Oh, it's because some of the f images are mixed. That's the reason uh, that the images were not correctly uh, identified. Okay, so finally, we, um, based on the, on the trained model, we developed uh, an Android application that, uh, that can demonstrate the uh, the, the for the classification and the recognition. So, so I'm gonna uh, give a live demo using using my mobile phone. But let me, I will project the the, the phone to the to the uh, projection. Okay, wait a second. Okay, now it comes. <coughs> okay, so I hope you can see it. So uh, this one called the NutriTake is our application. The, the interface is quite simple. It just has three buttons that you can take images from gallery or from camera. So let's try an image from my photo g gallery. I took an image of uh, chicken. 
So if I click recognize, it uh, takes a, a couple of seconds because we upload the picture to the server and we let the server do the classification and the recognition. It's actually two steps. So it first detects if the uh, item is food or not, and then it detects which category it is. So now it says it's meat, which is correct. And we can, okay, we can click yes to confirm this. And then the, the, the image is uploaded on our image, uh, and also its label is saved in our database. So this, using this application, it can also as a, used as a tool for uh, collecting extra data. Okay, that, let's try another. Let's try another one. Um, I have a couple of images. Let's try, I don't know, this one. This one should be detected as a either fruit or dessert because in our dessert image, Images. It, it, there are also some fruit images, so let's try it. Okay, this is red also. Okay, let's try. Um, let's try a wrong one. Let's see. Okay, let's try this one, which is a uh, sushi. So this one should be detected as rice, if it's uh, correct. Yeah, can be easy, but let's say the major part of the image is rice. Okay, so now this time it's not it's not right. Okay, but anyway, you can you can uh, correct it. You can okay, let's say confirm no, and then you can select the right uh, uh, the right class for this one. Let's say we select the rice and then submit, and then this uh, the right label uh, with the image will be saved on our on our database. Uh, let me try a live picture with a camera. Let me take a picture of you. So, and let's say what uh, you will be uh, identified by our system. <laughs> okay, at least it's right <laughs> that uh, it doesn't contain any food. Okay, so this is about the, the application. And uh, let's go back to the presentation. And uh, yeah, it, it's almost almost finished. So this come it comes the conclusion. So in this work, we have um, collected two data sets, and we conducted two sets of uh, experiment using uh, Google Net model. And uh, here you have the link to download the, the, all the image data set and also the application. Uh, and also this work was uh, accepted by the uh, International Workshop on uh, Multimedia Assist, uh, Assisted Dietary Management, which will be held on this Sunday, actually. Hopefully I will see some of you on, on, on the workshop as well. Okay, and thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can.